In the video on the first pillar of healthy trumpet playing, we covered why it's important to keep your air forward while you play the trumpet. In this video, I would like to go a little bit deeper into that pillar and to discuss it in the context of keeping your air forward while you are articulating. Players who haven't yet developed this skill effectively are gonna struggle in a number of ways. One of those ways is that they'll tend to add space right before an articulation, which is certainly gonna hinder your airflow and the ease of flow of your air, but also it's gonna interrupt the musical line, which is not good either. In this video, we're gonna talk about what it sounds like when your air is not connecting between notes, when you're not keeping your air forward while articulating. And I'm also going to share with you a way of visualizing how your air would move while you're playing that's gonna help you be able to connect those notes. To begin, I would like to use a couple of musical examples to demonstrate what it sounds like when you're not keeping your air forward while articulating and you're not connecting notes through articulations. To help you be able to hear it more clearly, I'm gonna over exaggerate the problem a little bit so it's very, very clear. As you can hear, the notes are clipped and there are separations in between the notes. The negative effects for me are that I really don't feel like I'm blowing through the line. I'm stopping the air all of the time. I don't feel like I'm able to make a bigger musical line in terms of the architecture. To demonstrate what I would try to do to approach these lines in the way that I think is correct, I'm gonna play them again, but I'm really gonna blow through them so you can hear what it sounds like when there's no separation at all. As you can hear, there's no separation between the notes. The musical line is extended further, so we're really getting a, a long line from start to finish. All right, so I've got my iPad here, and I'm gonna use this to help demonstrate what is going wrong when we do this. So when we play notes, we have you know a line of notes here, and we wanna play them well. We generally are trying to get our air to be straight, like this, like it's a straight line like that. That would be this kind of feeling. But the problem is, is that when we end up doing it, a lot of times our air ends up sounding like this, where we have these gaps in between the air. So. To remedy this, I like to think of my air as being a roller coaster cart going in and through an inverted loop on a roller coaster track. As the roller coaster comes into the inverted loop, it's got to be going fast so that it can make it all the way through and past the top point so it doesn't get stuck. And then once it gets over the top of it and it starts coming back down, the roller coaster cart is going to speed up again right before it leaves it and continues on to whatever crazy stuff is going on. And this is how I think our air should work. We want to have a fast and energized airstream all the time that's forward, but when we articulate right before we articulate, we almost want to think about we're leaving the bottom part of that inverted loop 
and be sent out into whatever the next thing that's happening. If I were to draw it, it would look a little bit like this. We have our notes here, and then, so our air is gonna be coming like this, and then right before the next one, it loops, and then it loops, and then it loops, and then it loops. And what this is gonna do is it's more or less gonna force you to connect your air from one note to another through the articulation. It's gonna sound something like this. So when we started with this example, that's one that sounds like this. And when we look at this example right here, we have something that looks like this. That extra burst of energy at the bottom of the inverted loop really helps to connect the next thing that we do. Here's what it sounds like on the trumpet. I'm gonna do the musical examples from before, but in slower motion so you can really hear this effect at work. may sound a little bit over exaggerated in terms of me really trying to connect the notes but over time you'll learn how to coordinate this and you'll learn how to even things out so it sounds a lot more like what I demonstrated earlier it just sounds like one long line kind of like this right here what we were looking for to begin with at this point you should now understand why keeping your air forward while articulating is important what it sounds like when you are not keeping your air forward while articulating and how to visualize your air so you can begin to connect those notes with more consistency. Thanks so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it or you got any value out of the video, I would really appreciate it if you would like the video and subscribe to the channel and we will see you in the next video.